Welcome to the Telluride Middle High School, located in the San Juan Mountains. The student population is approximately 390. There are nearly 50 classrooms and large workspaces. Telluride Middle High School is leading the way with technological advancements, and these include a new STEM laboratory and the latest audio-video educational aids, and of course, our handicapped accessible gondola. Working with Telluride TV, James Toshik's tech tutorial students investigated the new technology at their school and produced the following TV program to show what they have learned. Are we good, Rowan? Hi, Mr. Gass. Um, thank you so much for coming in today to talk about the technology in the school. Um, my name is Ryder. Um, and the first question I have for you is, why was technology in the school upgraded and expanded? Um, we had some, some robust systems, but at the same time, we also really needed to do a lot of work on our infrastructure. So anything I call the blue wire stuff, uh, you know, that's network and servers and security and um, you know we've gone to automated doors and different things like that really just kind of an industry standard for educators what about the technology expansion as a teacher uh, excited you the most we we went to BYOT or bring your own technology in the middle high school so every student brings uh, his or her own computer in a way it's a little bit of a scary thought like oh we're getting all these students computers and they're theirs and they can do anything they want on them. It's got the rascals shopping for skateboards right here. And then I saw her face. I think what it does is it really blends uh, outside of the classroom with inside of the classroom. You can really go out there and uh, um, extend that classroom time. Hey everyone, we're, we're doing this project and just continue doing that um, after class. And you can have discussions, students can be anywhere in the world and still be part of a discussion and be part of the classroom using the different types of technology like Skype or uh, even just an online discussion. So basically like doing a project on like Mount Fuji and being able to Google and go to virtually like Mount Fuji. That's, that's a great example. Um, just information at your fingertips all the time, every time. You know, we can never have enough bandwidth. Um, back when, when I started in school, uh, bandwidth was really how many kids were in the in the musical instrument class. That's a, that's a pun. Yeah. Uh. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. Today we're going to be discussing the front row system, which is a state-of-the-art sound system that has been included in every classroom in the Telluride High School. What is the new PA system for the school? Well, the, the vendor is called Front Row, um, so we refer to it often as Front Row. Um, but how it works is it's integrated into our phone system. Um, and we're able to use a lot of the existing speakers, but go to an IP-based system. So something that's uh, uh, much more configurable and uh, integrated into everything else. All right, so today we're going to learn about the subject pronouns. Yes, it's fun. <laughs> Next, we'll be discussing the security in the school. The new keycard and lock system makes the school a safer place and more secure place for students and faculty. What is the new lock system for the school? We haven't heard much about that from our other interviewers. People's biggest complaint is that it's really hard to get into the school now, which is a, a good thing. Um, prior to this year, um, I think anyone could get in anywhere wherever, whenever they wanted on the weekends, and so it's getting, uh, you have to have a key card to get in. Give me your, give me your, give me your attention, baby. Today, we will be discussing STEM. STEM it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. It is becoming more and more relevant in the modern world. TMHS has developed a new lab that is completely devoted to these studies. Hello, today we will be interviewing Mr. E on our subject of the STEM room. How are you today? I'm well, how are you? 
Okay, well, let's get right into it. Uh, why is the STEM room important Great. to the school? Uh, so I think our school already does a really good job uh, with science and math and technology instruction. Uh, the STEM room is important because it gives us a space to bring all of those skills together and use them simultaneously for instruction. It's a maker space. The, the kids, are their, their hands are dirty every day and they're, they're constructing things and they're deconstructing things and they're trying something new. What are some of the equipments in there like? Yeah, so the cabinets are full, uh, filled with a bunch of tools and just general equipment. Uh, there's three main pieces of equipment um, that are kind of out all the time. There's two 3D printers uh, and, a, and a laser cutter, and then a, like a ventilation system to, to get that kind of stuff out of the room. Oh. Um, aside from that, uh, we have about two full bike shops worth of equipment uh, so that students can pretty much do everything that you could do in a regular, um, like at Boot Doctors and their mechanic set. Oh, wow. So. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, hi. Hi. We were also wondering who the future users of STEM Room might be. Wow. Well, I hope just about everybody. We like to think that we're high tech and votech. Do you know what that means? Do you know what votech stands for? I do not. Okay, vocational tech. That's for kids who aren't going to go off to a four-year college after high school. Okay. But they might become bike repair guys or women who work in the town. And so we want them to have the skills they need to be able to be employable right after they graduate from high school. So it could be some kids who are really interested in bikes who can learn bike mechanics out of the STEM lab. Or it could be kids who are doing computer coding or robotics and who are going to go off to, say, MIT. So we like to think it's for all, all ranges of kids. Um, according to their interests. So we want to have as many different things in that lab as we can so that everybody who's interested can get something out of that room. Thanks for watching. We're the Tech TV team. The TV is powerful.